G'day guys, today we're going to run through the process of electro polishing one of our uh, rehydration station tanks. We've got our electro polishing unit, we've got our electrolyte solution, and we've also got our water and uh, neutralizing solution in behind the camera. First and foremost, the whole reason for electro polishing is to get rid of the burns on the inside of the world, or to get rid of all, all burn marks full stop. Uh, this just enhances the look of it and also helps stop any uh, surface corrosion from that weld. It's a fairly easy, fairly simple process. This is just the wand we use with a bit of a graphite or a, or, or a carbon uh, brush on the end. We dip it in this uh, electrolyte solution. There's many forms. We use the safe version which is used the uh, citric acid. Very easy. We just wipe it over, and you'll see you'll see some sparks sometimes come off it, and sometimes a little bit of steam, or um, as it heats up, uh, the actual solution. I like to actually go over the welds first, just with one wipe, just to put a little bit of solution on it, and allow the solution to start uh, start working. Let me just go through. Wipe the brush over it a couple of times just to get rid of that weld mark or that weld burn, as I call it. Making sure to keep that tip nice and cool with lots of solution. You can never have enough solution. As you can see, those. That burn mark has completely come off those very quickly, very easily. Much quicker than using your old rope mops and polish and then trying to blend it in. You'll actually notice that what we have noticed over time is the quicker you polish after you weld, the easier it is to actually get that burn mark. If you weld and let it sit for a couple of days and then try and get the burn mark off, it takes three or four times longer. Now obviously I don't polish it like this. I polish it towards me, but for the sake of this video and so that you guys can see, this is, what we're this is how we're gonna do it. Just like that, guys, this tank's now done. Now what we do is we chuck it in, well not chuck it, we place it in this neutralizing solution, give it a good wash around, get all the solution off those welds. All right guys, there you have it. The easiest way that we've found to clean uh, the welds off these, off these tanks. As you can tell, it only took uh, less than a minute. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Cheers guys.